everyone, it's Brianna Ray from BriIY and I am here to bring back another installment of Wreck This Journal. This is something I've done two episodes of already and I've done quite a few pages. I think I've done about three every section. So write your name in white and I did all this write your name stuff. Let's see. I've got stand here, pour, spill, drip, spit, poke holes in this page, draw fat and thin lines. Do handprints or fingerprints and then color this entire page. Which, which now brings us to throw something. Now I had two basic ideas for this throw something because filming uh, by myself this would be extremely difficult to actually throw something on top of the fact that it is like freezing outside and I really don't want to go outside. So I decided maybe I should just uh, pop some different ideas out there and whatever sticks sticks. I did want to do uh, a spray thing you know just to kind of keep things semi-controlled uh, but I actually already did a video like this last year in fact I'm pretty sure that's why a lot of people came to my channel in the first place was because I did it for my entry into Jazza's win my channel competition um, and I mean it worked great but I don't think it's gonna work on this really thin paper I ended up doing it on poster board last time uh, and it still warped a lot so I don't want to do that so much so I kind of wanted to think of like a uh, a dry material to do for this and I don't think my pencils are good enough but you know what is good enough it's my old nemesis soft pastels if you know anything about me or have seen any of my videos uh, recently I've been trying to force myself to use up these soft pastels that I have I used to use them to chalk my hair back in the day and color my hair temporarily and uh, frankly I hate them. Um, I have a really strong aversion to chalk and chalk-like textures. Uh, you can actually see me try to create an entire piece of artwork with soft pastels up here. It is very cringy. Um, I get goosebumps and I, I completely lose my ability to speak in the middle of it at some points. Um, it is not good. Uh, also, it makes me very nauseous to use, so I cannot use it without gloves. So I've got a nice little set of gloves here that I'm going to throw on so that I can use these and hopefully not lose my marbles. I think I'm just gonna pick them up one by one and like throw them. Maybe I'll do like a specific color pattern. I think I'll do like maybe some blues and purples. I feel like I haven't done something like that in a hot minute. At least, you know, maybe not. I have in this book, but not so much in general. So let's just, uh, ugh. okay, let's do it. Actual page. Well, this idea was a giant fail. Okay, we had to take a new course of action. So I ended up going in and deciding to do a doodle slash drawing. Um, so I just took my favorite pencil, which is the Ticonderoga Noir pencils, and I sketched out a dart hitting the bullseye at the 50 in the center. And I thought because of this cool black and white, uh, you know, bullseye look, I actually kind of wanted to do an, an alternating contrasting kind of look. So in the white parts, I colored it in black and I colored the black parts in white so that it kind of alternated. And so I just went in, kind of coloring the shape with a pen, a gel pen for both, a white gel pen and a black gel pen. And I went in with the alternating colors to kind of add details and, and clarify the lines and such. It was definitely something different than what I normally do. I don't know about this one. I guess I thought it was kind of like fun and, and different and a little outside of my comfort zone to do some something like this. Um, I still kind of followed the directions, I guess. I did throw some stuff. It is a little messy, but instead I just kind of drew something being thrown at it. Um, part of me kind of wants to like poke a hole through it just to kind of add a little little extra oomph to it. You know, a little, little spice, a little intrigue. Boom. Yeah, now it's, now it's realistic. Ooh. I kind of want to like add like some shadow too as well. I feel like that might, you know, add a little bit of something. Not a lot, but just, just a little. I don't hate it, I guess, but I don't think it's my favorite page. I would say I like it more than my stand here page, but eh, it's still just not my favorite. So far, I think my rainbow fish page is still my favorite, but I don't know. Not, not horrible. Definitely different. Definitely uh, unique from some of the other things I've done before, so I guess it's time to move on to the next page. The next page is press leaves and other found things here. I was going to go grab a collection of faux flowers and then paint them and press them, but a lot of mine are like not super detailed 
frankly. Um, there's something about them that, you know, I get most of my flowers from the Dollar Tree or from like the discount section at Michael's or something. So they're just not as realistic looking as real flowers. And since it's winter time, uh, you know, I might find some crunchy leaves, but nothing that's really gonna bend nice and easily. But if you saw my uh, DIY advent calendar video, I did mystically find this interesting like half made doily on the inside of something I bought from Goodwill. It was uh, the cord actually, it had been half completed and then stuffed inside the middle and then I'm assuming donated. But I think it's really beautiful and I really did kind of want to like turn it into maybe, you know, like a hanging plant potter, but I don't really have any of those, um, like any plants laying around and it's kind of unfinished on the edges and it's definitely going to fall apart like for sure uh, and I'm not totally certain how to continue this it looks like it's been like a set of crocheted maybe chains but I think what might be really cute is if I painted it and then used this to do a press uh, it would be for sure unique I doubt anyone else would ever do something like this but um, it's gonna be a little risky. Um, I did actually, as I was driving home the other night, I saw this gorgeous sunset and I actually literally pulled over to the side of the road to take a picture of it because I thought the colors were beautiful. And it went from like this lavender to the, like a peachy orange and then to a pink and I just thought it was stunning. Um, and I think it would be fun to kind of do this sort of color scheme in this order and start with like the purple in the middle and then move out to the pink and then press and we'll see what it looks like. So let's do that. That was fun and I even got a little bit on my hands, so I'm gonna go uh, wash these up and then we'll come back. Not bad, actually quite interesting. And um, I thought about doing colored pencils, but I kind of really wanted to stick with this like super bright theme. And I'm pretty sure I've almost never used this really bright green uh, Tombow. So I think I'm gonna just make some little leaves because it kind of looks like a flower anyway uh, with the Tombow. And, gosh, I guess I don't even really know how I want to do this. Maybe, like, dark outline? I actually quite like this. I think it's very unique and different. And, you know, I know it's simple, but also it was kind of fun to, like, take something that was so textured. Like, I might even try this again with some doilies from Dollar Tree. They sell those just, like, kind of off to the side, but I think that'd make a really cool pattern. And this one's a little, a little messed up because it was, you know, handmade, obviously, and a little, uh, you know, more rounded than I think it was flat. So I'd like to try this with something flat and see how that looks. But yeah, I'm actually really happy with this and I think it turned out really, really pretty. So I'm gonna make sure this is 100% dry and then we'll move on to the last page. Last one is scratch using a sharp object. I've got some tweezers here, very, very sharp, I think. And I have a reference image and I am pretty much ready to go. I really wanted to do a hand. I felt really inspired to do that. And since it's on this kind of like black background, I thought it would be fun to use some of these metallic pens to kind of go over it. Um, these are from the calligraphy kit that I reviewed not too long ago. And if I don't like the way that these go, then I have my Pilot G2s, which are my ride or dies. So I'm going to scratch in my shape. I'm gonna add some details with these guys. and. And that is the direction I'm heading, so let's hyperlapse. Honestly, I think the most impressive part of this sketch is that I did not break the back. I was close, but I did not go through. So I am like proud of myself and also very proud of the quality of this book. Oh my gosh. They really made it difficult for you to wreck. So, um, yeah, actually, I think this turned out pretty cute. I like uh, the simplicity of it. Sometimes minimalism is better, and I definitely think that this is a nice little piece that uh, I got to do some fun things I haven't done in this book yet. So that is it. That is all I had for you guys today. I wanted to thank you so, so much for watching. And if you like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe. I do put out new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time, and every so often I'll throw out one of these little bonus videos as well. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope to see you then. Bye!